September 1st, St. Giles. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Giles. He was an abbot, hermit, a miracle worker, and patron saint of the disabled. Like many saints, the life of St. Giles began in wealthy privilege, which he left behind to pursue a path of righteousness and pure devotion to the Lord. Through this devotion, Giles served the least of society at that time, beggars, cripples, and convicts all in the name of jesus one of the fourteen holy helpers saint giles is called upon for protection in times of plague and epidemic giles was born in athens greece the son of a wealthy king theodore and queen of pelagia while from an early age he cared little for the wealth and splendor of the royal court he inherited it upon his parents deaths giles immediately began distributing the royal possessions and funds to the poor and miracles began to occur at his hand as more and more people came to see him due to these miracles he found the crowds preventing him from living a pious and god-focused life and therefore he left greece to live as a hermit giles settled in france where he lived alone in a cave and spent his days in prayer meditation and conversation with the lord the cave he made his uncomfortable home was guarded by a thick thorn bush and due to his lack of food legend tells us that the lord sent a hind a sort of a deer to the cave to nourish giles with her milk on one occasion while the hind was visiting a royal hunting party chased the hind into the thicket and shot an arrow into the cave however rather than hitting the deer the arrow lodged in giles leg crippling him for the remainder of his life the king was greatly upset by this and sent doctors to care for giles leg he also took to visiting him despite giles wishing to be left alone due to the king's visits giles fame began to spread as miracles continued to be worked through him beggars the disabled the sick and the crippled soon began gathering near his cave pious followers began to present themselves to giles as well looking for spiritual guidance and leadership out of his admiration of giles the king commissioned a monastery called saint giles du god for these followers and giles became the first abbot establishing the rule of benedict a small town grew up around the monastery due to the constant stream of sick visiting following his death the town grew further his grave and shrine becoming a place of pilgrimage the relics of st giles hidden for centuries from the ravages of invasion were returned to the church of st giles in the 1800s there they continued to be remembered to this day